I am Arielle Heisen, of course. I taught for an online university for nine years before doing what I do now, and that is content creation, owning a few businesses, and just sharing our life online. And I am Michael Tyson. I, along with our social media and business ventures and farming, I am vocationally a pastor. We got married almost 15 years ago. We lost our first baby. Our oldest is 11. Both just knew that we wanted to have four or five kids. But I think that is considered a big family for a lot of people. <laughs> While we're super grateful to have a daughter now, that's never been our goal. That's not why we have seven kids. We feel blessed and we're just so proud of each one of our kids and excited for them. I think that's the coolest part about having a lot of kids is being able to see each of their personalities be so uniquely different. Even though they're raised similarly and in the same home with the same parent, our older kids are just so mature, especially our oldest. He's just such a mature 11 year old in so many ways. He's very helpful. He cares really deeply about serving people and what people think. Our second son is very bold and fearless. Our third son is really quiet. He's just so tender hearted. He thinks about things a little bit more deeply than, than a lot of his brothers. Our fourth son, he is a go getter. He's not going to overthink a decision. He's just going to go for it. Our fifth son is very intuitive. He likes being helpful. Oh, he yeah. likes having responsibility. Our two year old just likes eating and sleeping. <laughs> and then our little girl, she's just happy all the time. your kids, whether they're homeschooled or in school, I think the parents have the primary role in educating their kids. We both were homeschooled most of our life. And while there were definitely challenges, we didn't love everything about being homeschooled. Overall, we had great experiences with it. Typical studious education is so important and we believe in that, but we also believe in the ability to take care of things that you won't necessarily learn in a typical school environment. Every child is different. Some of them have different things that they value that they want to learn more about. One of our boys is very much into like art and cooking, so we can put a lot of emphasis into that. Our oldest loves robotics and everything like that, so we've been able to do some of that. You don't have to wait until you go to college to focus on those things. You can go ahead and start learning about those things now. It's cool that we can incorporate things that they might not be able to dive into as much in the regular school system while also keeping up with their normal schooling too. I think that's the big thing, being able to fit each child's personality and being able to run with what that is and what they love. The job of a parent is not to make a child conform to a personality, but to allow their personality to be a strength and not a weakness. Another major part of it for us would be that our kids know each other much better. Because even if they went to the same school, they wouldn't be in the same class. They just wouldn't have the opportunity to be as close of friends as they are and to learn how to interact with people that are of different ages and different maturity levels. They're uh, friends and they fight a lot too. They do a lot together. They spend a lot of time together. They have really great camaraderie. Hey, we're going with the others. I don't put a lot of pressure on them to take care of the baby because that's kind of my responsibility. However they want to help with the baby, they always do. They'll be like, hey, can I help with this? Or can I take her? Can I hold her? With her, they are very protective because she is their baby sister. They have different chores for different kids. And they'll help whether that's sweeping, doing the dishes, cleaning up, everyone cleans up their room. And then they have chores around the farm too. They have to feed the dog and water the cows and they help me manage our fencing and rotations and things like that. Anything that Ariel or I are doing, they want to be a part of it and learn and participate. Just involve them more and treat them with this sense of responsibility and dignity. It's amazing how much the younger ones do better or listen better when their older siblings are here. 
I feel like they learn from each other. For the older siblings will learn things from us and then teach it to the younger ones. Being a pastor, I am working on every weekend. So right now, our family day is Friday. Our kids often do school on Saturday, but they don't do school on Friday because that's our family day. We just have a unique schedule. We are so busy. We just wanted to maximize our time with our kids. Our kids do have set bedtimes and sleep routine. I have worked on them when they're first born because it's the only way that we can function with so many kids is yeah. for everybody to get good sleep. So I am tired and exhausted, but I'm also able to get decent sleep. Something important to realize is that being exhausted isn't always bad. We have to just remind each other and ourselves what really matters most in life because it's so easy to get distracted. So that's why we're partners. I'm just so incredibly blessed and grateful to have Ariel as my life partner. But as far as our relationship goes, our marriage and our family and our kids, our relationship with God is the most important thing to us. It's not something that we incorporate into our life. It is the foundation for everything that we do in life. That goes to every aspect of what we do. Our work, um, education for our kids, the way that we interact with each other and with our kids. And while our kids go to church with us because that's what we do as a family, they listen to the Bible being read because we read it as a family, they're gonna have their own choices to make. And their relationship with God isn't based on our relationship with God, but it's completely personal. That really doesn't have anything to do with me being a pastor. We hope that each one of our children is faithful, faithful to what they believe, faithful to the people in their life, faithful to the relationships that they commit to, and that they are focused on what matters most.